This is Pip. This is Lawrence. They're TV presenters. They got kicked out of their apartment, so now they're living in the studio where they work. But their new home means living with a strange security team, and after the sun goes down, everything gets kind of weird. Well, when was the last time you saw her? Before she went on patrol. What up, you guys? Who's ready to watch some ice hockey with me? Because the Darwin hot dogs are about to carve it up. <gasps> Yay, the doggies! Do you mind? We're in the middle of a crisis. Ugh, dude thinks everything is a crisis. Out of tea? Crisis. Light bulb blows? Crisis. I put his toothbrush in Vegemite? Crisis. What happened? Patrol officer 82 is missing. What? She went on patrol and never came back. Well, did you check the security camera? She is a security camera. Oh, yeah. Right, so she went to patrol sub-level four and sub-level seven, so if we split up, maybe we can check both? That's a good idea. OK, right, well, I'm the head of security, so I'm going to choose my team first. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a hot dog. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick. Oh. Cool, you're on sub level seven. Stay in touch. If we lose you, the puck drops in half an hour. <laughs> oh, I hate it down here. It's like the second creepiest place in the whole building. The first is definitely the canteen, because what they serve as food in there is terrifying. 82? Are you in here? Huh. Dude, you missed out. Sub-level four has a whole floor dedicated to a duck carnival. I love ducks! We know. Is it still on? Can I check it out? Yeah, it was one night only. Oh, really? You really did miss out. There was this one game where they put you up against a duck and you had to see who could eat the most worms in a minute. Oh, I'd love to have seen that. Sorry, buddy. But I ate the most worms and I won this duck call for you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Uh -huh. A paradise shell duck. How delightful. Hmm. Oh, okay, so I've been looking for 82 and I couldn't find her anywhere, but I did find a flashlight and then all of a sudden the phone started ringing and... Hmm, this feels a lot like a... I'll just put this on speaker. Hello? No, no, don't answer that! Just as I thought. Where did he go? What's going on? Will I make it back for the hockey? Because if the choice is between watching the game and finding Lawrence, well, it's not looking great for Lawrence. I'm just gonna have a look around, see if I can... Oh. Yep, I knew it. This is a multi-room. What's a multi-room? How much do you know about Parallel Dimensions? They had a great first album. No. Ah, oh, well, I tried. So, there are potentially an infinite number of Parallel Dimensions, some like ours and some wildly different. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. Mm. To maximise storage space, the ABC built rooms connected to these parallel dimensions so they would have an infinite number of rooms to store stuff in. So you're saying this room is like heaps of other rooms? In other dimensions, yeah. Can you travel between them? You can, but the only way to travel between them is to put in the number of the dimension you want to get to into the phone. OK, great. Let's just do that. Well, we can't, because they could be in any one of the billions of dimensions and we don't know what number to put in. OK, cool. Um, I'm going to let you figure this one out and I'm going to go find a TV to watch the game. See ya! Um... Hello? Squawk! 82! Squawk! Squawk! It's all good. Wait, something really weird is happening here. Squawk! 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 This only happened to me. I picked up the phone and then Pip and Boulder just vanished. So the phone could be very useful, is what I'm saying. <laughs> That. That's weird. Squawk. Oh, is that a, a dollar. giant dollar coin? A dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. So, do you think watching TV is helping? Uh, yeah, it helps me think. Come on, doggies! There it is again! <laughs> Wait, that's so weird. It sounds like them. Blow it again. <laughs> what it means. They can see the sound. Sure, they can see sound because nothing is weird to me anymore. <gasps> this isn't looking too good for us, 82. Wait, there's numbers. I, 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 think the, I think the sound is painting numbers. Three, two, four, eight. Squawk. Oh, the phone. Three, two, four, eight. <laughs> Science! 82! Squawk! <laughs> oh, 
I'm so glad you guys figured it out. Welcome back to Dimension 3248. <gasps> Apparently, the two things that can transcend time and space is a TV and a Vuvuzela. Guys, we saw some pretty crazy stuff in there. Cool! Let's go upstairs and watch the rest of the game, and you can tell us all about it afterwards. Wait, we still haven't figured out who actually called me in 82. But who would want us trapped in an alternate dimension? Well, I assume you have a lot of enemies. Why would you think that? Don't worry about it, guys. I'm sure it's fine. Come on! Um... But what is an enemy? but merely someone with another point of view. Mm -hmm.